S of PHP 7 when calling the unserialize function in order to get back the object that was serialized, there is an additional parameter we can uh, use when calling the unserialize function. In this code sample, I invoke unserialize, I pass over dollar $data, which actually holds the value that was returned by serialize. That actually serialized the object that was created over here and this call to the unserialize function passing over this uh, second argument actually means that we want to unserialize the data inside dollar data the dollar data a uh, variable holds uh, but only if it is a uh, data of an object that was created uh, from one of the classes specified over here uh, in this case, uh, we have an object that was instantiated from the class A, and this is the object that was serialized, and that's why specifying $A over here means that the unserialization will succeed. Now, if we check the output of this code sample, just as expected, we get the output, the number 3, or if we change it over here to 5, it will be a 5 accordingly. Now, if instead of specifying uh, names of classes that um, we want to allow the unserialization uh, of uh, objects that were created from those classes, we write uh, true. If I write true, then it means that it would be the same as if we were calling unserialize without uh, passing a second argument as it was before PHP 7. So this code sample of course uh, should work fine. Now if the names of the classes, the names we specify, don't include the name of the class from which uh, the object was created and now we want to unserialize it here I changed from A to B then the unserialization won't work let's change back to A and refresh